Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and Make Time to Craft. Today I'm back with my Bow It All version 3.0 and I'm going to teach you how to make a tassel. Here are a couple samples of tassels that I've made. The first one was made with just regular worsted weight yarn in white with pink accent. This I made with a little bit funkier fuzzy fibery kind of yarn and I added a cool charm on this one and I really love this one and this is what we're going to do today this was made with baker's twine in the two color twine and a solid for the accents most of you know who have watched other videos I've done with the bottle that I don't usually leave my spool holder set up because I just really don't use them because I'm usually using short spool and pieces of ribbon when I tie my bows. But today we're using a spool of Baker's twine, so I have the spool holder set up on the left. And I just want to—it's. I love this that it's so quick and easy to either swing out the spool holders and set them up or tuck them under and they stay exactly where you placed them and you wouldn't even know they were there. I also love the extra um, non-skid stability feet that they've added on this board. It really holds the board stable and it's not going to allow it to slip around your workstation while you're creating your bow or whatever you're making. So I'm gonna take the two color Baker's twine and put it on the spool holder. I have my pegs set at four and seven inches because we're gonna make a three inch tassel today. And I also have one peg in the helping hands on the right and we're gonna use that. I'm gonna clip on the end of the Baker's twine so it will hold it there while I wrap for the tassel. So how many times you wrap is basically preference how, how full do you want your tassel to be. And of course it's also going to depend on how big your tassel is. Naturally a smaller one will need fewer wraps. A larger one you're going to have to go a lot more wraps just to achieve the same fullness. And don't be afraid to try different fibers, you know, trims, even ribbons, twines, whatever. You can get really fun looks with the tassel with different types of fibers. So I think we're going to leave it at that. I'll trim the end and I'm going to lift off the helping hand clip and add this other end. So it will hold both ends there while we go to the next step. So I have a short piece of the solid Baker's twine and what I'm gonna do is just feed it down through the center and we're gonna pull it over onto the left side that is going to be the top tie when we're done. So that's just gonna hang out over there while we work. I'm going to cut another piece, I don't know, maybe 15 inches long. And this is what we're going to use to make the upper wraps. If you want to add a charm like I did on this tassel, the way I did it was I strung the charm on now so that it will sit at the end of the loop. So I've made a loop and it looks like it's about a four inch loop. And I want the loop to be facing the right and I want the end of it sticking out just a little bit beyond the left peg. I'm going to use my right hand to hold it where I want it. And I'm going to start wrapping. Now I want my wrap to be as close to the left peg as possible, which is really the top of the tassel. And I'm going to wrap around and I'm going to pull snug. You want it as tight as you can get it. And this finger I'm going to be using to hold every time I go around because I don't want to lose 
the tension, the tightness from what I've pulled. I want it to all be even and nice and tight. And you're going to wrap around several times. This again will be preference of how wide you want that to be. I'm going to say that you want it to be at least a half inch wide or a little more. Okay, I, th I think that is fine. That might be actually one more than I should have done, but that's okay. I'm going to use my left hand finger in the back. Use whatever's comfortable for you. I'm just trying to keep my big hands out of the way. Okay, so I have my loop. I'm going to thread the end through that loop. Now I'm going to switch hands again and I'm going to start to pull the end on the left. Basically what I'm doing is getting this kind of knot where this end went through the loop. What I want is for that to end up in the middle of the wrap or as close as you can to the middle. That's basically what's going to hold it tight. That's like you're not buried underneath the wraps. Then you're going to cut, sorry, as close as you can without snipping any of the other threads. So that's kind of like knotting. It's like a blind knot that no one will ever see. They'll wonder how you did that. <laughs> And it's not going to pull out because it's in there where you can't even get it. So at this point, remove the helping hands clips, slide it up. You're going to cut your ends. And these long ones you can trim too. And then you can either decide if you like the top of your tassel to be wide like that, then just tie the ends up here. I kind of like this to look round, so I will usually tie it. So I'm going right over left, pull it tight, left over right to knot it. So now you see how it looks a little bit round at the top. I think that looks more like the tassels you would buy at the store. And then you're just going to knot the top. Trim it off and you are done. If there's any long stragglers at the bottom, of course, trim them so it's all flat. But there is your finished tassel. Thanks so much for joining me and learning how to make a basic tassel with your bow at all tool. If you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I add new videos. Happy crafting!